Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today is Friday and Fridays I like to do florals and let's try something different today. Let's play with metallic. I have a lovely metallic gold from Holbein and we're just painting down some simple washes and creating these really simple flowers. I just show you how I paint them with the brush. We don't have to draw them out. If you want to draw them out, if you feel more comfortable, do that. But really simple uh, strokes with the brushes create these simple, beautiful flowers. I show you a cute little technique on this one, but the gradated wash and how those little circles came about. It's kind of like science in a way and magical. So check that out. Really great kind of doodle, kind of floral design. And if you're a Patreon member, you get the bonus tutorial with this, this one kind of a little more sophisticated um yeah so and you can get that link in the description box below so really this is just a fun uh exercise and just using your brush using the brush for strokes and having fun metallic paint have you not played with gold metallic watercolor it's super fun this is super easy i'm telling you you can just wash a color in and any beginner can do this and if you've been painting for a while you should play also it's all about play and enjoying the day so these are simple cards you can create for friends or family and if you don't want to make a card make a bigger size and you can do a nice big beautiful painting all right so without further ado let's get started all right so for this tutorial super super simple two colors i have indigo blue and gold this is both watercolors simple um i have just a small piece of paper i'm using fabriano's artistico this is the bright white cold press it's actually in a block and i had removed a piece and i just kind of tore it up a little bit so it's probably like a four by six piece and just going to use these simple colors to make a really kind of simple card um, i'm going to grab my princeton 12 and loosen up some indigo why i picked indigo it's a really nice deep dark blue color tone so the metallic colors look fantastic on top of that can make some really pretty designs and so you can kind of work with watercolor almost like a gouache in this particular instance by just putting this little color down I'm loosening this up and I'm just going to kind of go in here and so it's like a really nice deep blue you can add a little paints gray if you want if you make it even darker just a simple blue I'm not going to fill the whole piece up just this whole section here get this little wet here this nice indigo and this is when you can play with the gold paint metallic paint even some like white gel pens all that good stuff and just kind of see just loosening up the paint and I'm using Holbein indigo if you don't have that you have a different kind of indigo use that just a nice deep blue and we're gonna let this sit in that paper and saturate and then we're going to go over and we're going to just take the gold watercolor and paint right on top of that. It's going to be fantastic. And you can make this a little bit lighter if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be this dark, but I recommend if you really want that gold to come through. So we're going to just let this dry and come back with the gold paint. Once this is dry, I'm going to grab a number four round Velvet Touch Series brush. I know, small brush. I never use them. I'm going to loosen up this gold paint here. This is gold right out of the tube from Holbein. I love it. Grabbing some more water here. I'm going to do some simple brush strokes to create simple flowers. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to say my center point right here. Just tap it, right? Figure out where I'm going to go. I'm going to push down and pull back, lifting up. And when you're pushing, it's like this swooping motion. And then crisscross and pull back. And you get this really kind of pretty flower you can create with these simple petals just by using those brush strokes kind of connect them you can have some overlap going back and kind of twisting all right you're just pushing down make a little bit longer kind of coming in here push down and kind of twist it it's kind of like a funky chrysanthemum or i don't know just a funky flower pulling back pushing down and kind of lifting and pulling back pushing Lifting, and I'm going to put one down here, and a couple of small ones kind of coming in here, and then a big one back here. Right? And then we'll do one down here, basically making a circle. 
with your paintbrush. And then we're gonna make some petals. So similar to like a daisy, but it's wider. So up and kind of wiggle, up and wiggle. There's no trace for this. I know you guys can just play with that and just kind of go around that circle. Right? This one's kind of less wiggly. Um, the center of the circle, you can make little dots or do little circles within a circle. And so they kind of look like little dots in a way. Just going around in a circle, teeny circles, connecting them. And then we're going to take our brush and do little lines from the center going outward. Boom, boom, boom. Like this. Building a little flower. We'll be adding a stem and some leaves. Just simple stuff. Just curve that stem. Make a nice leaf like that. So it's a curve line, curve and connect it. Do a line in the middle for a vein and little lines off that connecting. You can always slow my video down, by the way, if I'm going too fast. I don't know if you know that, but you can do that on YouTube. Um, I'm going to have to pull this down. Just go from the center and bring your brush and bring it down to a stem. And then add some leaves here. You can kind of make them wiggle a little bit. You know, all that good stuff. The gold paint really kind of sets off on this color indigo, again with the veins. And let's do some small little ditzy flowers, like little tulip shapes. So it's like a U, wiggle, wiggle, like up and down. So you do a U shape and you just go up and down like that. You can kind of connect them, put another one up here. Add little leaves off this branch. And then my brush is getting a little thick with the paint if you want to make it much thinner. I'm going to loosen this up here. And I can add like another stem here. Just kind of wiggle like this stem. Almost like uh, Queen Anne's Lace. I'll pull it down here. And I'll just tap it with the brush and make like little dots. For like a Queen Anne's Lace kind of look. Look how simple this was. It took like under five minutes for the, like, a super elegant card to give somebody. I'm kind of going to just fill in some of these areas in here. Kind of mush it around. Looks a little more elegant. And you can add like another little branch out here. Just simple little leaves. See? It's a, it's a curve and a curve connect. You're going this way and then this way. This way and then this way. Get used to moving your arm and your hand. If it's difficult, then just try to do what you can do. Do what you can do best, right? And then I'll just add some little dots kind of here, playing around with that. Really kind of simple. It took, how long did that take us to do? And it's a really elegant card you could make for somebody for sympathy, birthday, or whatever, anniversary, you name it. You have a simple card right there. So for another one, we could do, I'm moving the water a little bit out of the way. Um, I was thinking about gray. So I'll take ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. And I love these two because it can create a nice gradated wash that you're not going to get in other colors. And I might start off by paint, I mean, putting water on the paper this time. So I'm going to put some water here. Grab some water. I'm using my 12 again. And you can see the sheen. And I just taped this down, by the way, with just a simple piece of Scotch Magic Tape. And I'm mixing up these colors. These guys are like oil and water. The, the blue and the burnt sienna. So they create this really cool kind of gradated wash. I'm just kind of getting my activated color here. I'm going to put some of this in. Okay, a little bit more of the red. My ultimate blue is not cooperating, but we're gonna play with it. So it's a gray, it's a funky gray. Get a little deeper with the color. So I've just gonna look at a simple wash with those two colors, and I might go back in and add some deeper areas. So we're getting a little more advanced before we just had like a simple color, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm gonna go in and activate the blue. If you see this blue here. Having more blue. So more pigments, thicker, it's not going to move as much. 
and we can kind of tap that in. You can already see the paint, if you're watching your paper, if it's wet, kind of like doing its thing where it's separating. So I'm going to just tap in some color in different sections and play with it, have it move around a little bit, see what happens. And I can get some that are a little more brownish in some areas and a little more blue in some areas. Maybe over here. Maybe even more blue. Go right in here with the ultimate blue. So it's kind of funky. It's kind of like a little tie dye ish. And then we're going to wait for that to dry and we'll put the gold over it and it's going to look really pretty. You know, you don't have to just do a solid color. Play around with it. I have many tutorials on abstract kind of. Uh, colors. You can even right now, while the gold is still damp too, which we're going to play with, loosen this up and you can kind of tap this in and it's going to separate too. This is really thick. Getting more water on here. Come on, <laughs> work with me. I just grabbed any brush and look at that. It does this really cool. You can see this up close. The blue kind of separates like a little halo around it the things you can do with metallic paint and a gradiated wash. You see the you see like the rings, these blue rings are happening around it. It's just really cool. Do a little splatter in some areas. Unique, right? It's almost like alienish. Really pretty. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back and we'll paint some flowers on that. So now that it's dry, we can just take those funky little spacey kind of looking things and use those as our, you know, moving off points for flowers, right? So we have like a rounded shape. Again, we can go and go like this, maybe skinny little daisies. And you just, like you said, you're just tapping in that color and look how funky it has like this funky halo. You just go around. You could just scribble with your brush. All these little fun things. The washes come out so cool. Add some stems and some leaves again. So that's how you'd make a pattern that was like unusual, right? You can have them kind of like connected to a stem and add in more leaves, skinnier ones that go up like this. So it's always going to come out different. You can have just little spikes coming out of it and little taps on the top, right? So little lines just kind of coming off. And then you can just do some tippy taps on the edge of those lines, make like a cool flower. These can be connected. You can put more gold in the middle. Because you just splattered it, you, it's like random where it goes. And then you're just adding leaves. This is just so simple how you can do these little cute little adding dots and leaves. Right? Here again, you can just add more like simple daisy type petals. A little dot in the center. You can grab some white watercolor or even a white gel pen. If you want to make it mixed media, this is all watercolor. And people say it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it just creates really cool stuff. Um, just making those simple. You can make, I've had them open the daisy petals. Now you can close them. So kind of push down and connect, push down and connect, push down and connect. Just like we did before in the beginning. And you're making different flowers, connecting to those funky little um, other ones we did. Do another one over here, maybe skinnier. Do a bunch of little ones. And these are the ways you can make really cool abstract looking type flowers. I mean, they're semi abstract because you know what they are, but I can make a little circle again. Little lines coming off this one and little dots. Center, lines, dots. And of course, add some stems. Bring it all the way down. So it's just a little more abstract, a little different, but you play with the washes. I did give you a simple wash, and now you're adding a gradient wash. 
well not gradient one so with you know the mix of the two colors and then you're just playing with the brush strokes and you can add just dots and circles see I'm adding some distant dots over here some leaves coming off the side and it's just a really pretty card that you can make and how long did this one take very little time and you can fill in the, the leaves too it doesn't have to be open leaves you can fill these in look how cool that looks fill these in give it more metallic on your paper I love it from the tube because it just stands out more go around the circle make it more predominant and just add little dots up here little dots little dots and that's that how long did these cards take really quickly two really pretty cards I remove the tape um, you can <laughs> I splat a little bit here so I got it on the side but that's okay two totally different kind of styles with the the wash you put in right one's a little more abstract one's a little less but really simple kind of fun funky metallic flowers uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Really, just play with the paints and play with making shapes and patterns. Uh, do different colors, you know, blend and bleed. Um, I always feel like it pops off better on a darker color like you do in the indigo here. And just go from there, like a nice, nice deep gray. You could also make it softer. You know, can play with that too. Um, but play with the paints. Play with the metallic paints. And there's other colors that they have. They have coppers and silver. I think feel like I just feel like silver is more Christmassy and the gold can go like any time. Just my particular feeling. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, leave a comment below. Um, and you really there's no trace. You just this is how you play with paint intuitively. You wash in a color, you'd make a simple shape, you push the brush a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. And like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you get the added added um bonus one. So if you want to be a Patreon member. I talk about this often. Um, it's a place people support my channel. <laughs> Us creators, you know, we work hard to give you free content on YouTube, but YouTube, you know, you don't, you couldn't pay a coffee really <laughs> on YouTube. You can pay some coffees. Um, so if you want to support our channel, uh, become a, think about becoming a Patreon member. Um, lots, I have so many exclusive tutorials on there from years now, and you get to use ones from all the different years. So um, yeah, and the live stream on the top tier, we had a great live stream the other night. Um, and going over all kinds of stuff we can talk while I'm streaming live a it's almost like a painting class so check it out the link is in the description box below take care guys have a fantastic day and speak to you soon